Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. I really hope that you can hear me. Um, I have my mic on. We're going to see what's going on for the Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, the day before, the day of, the der- you know, the, the whole get down before, during, and after. Um, if I seem distracted, I'm sorry. I'm at the park with my son. You know, we're doing both. We're trying to mommy do this thing and, you know, make sure he does his thing as well. Um, we may have, you know, some interferences during during our video. I, I am at the park right now. A lot of parents and, their, um, and the babies. Why not? But uh, this is going to be for Aries, okay? No matter where Aries influences your chart, sun, moon, rising, mercury, north node, the whole get down, even if you're dealing with an Aries. So we're going to get into this, okay? What's going on for the Aries Collective for Valentine's Day weekend, okay? We're going to, okay. We're going to take these three because I'm only going to take three. We're only doing the day before, the day, di- <laughs> the day before, during, and after, okay? Um, under the deck, we have use your time well. Make every moment count. So somebody is definitely planning something big. This could be you, Aries. This could be the person that you're dealing with. But you have I want to be queen here. So you already know how you want to be treated on, on your day, on Valentine's Day, right? Especially, you know, our true divine feminines, true divine masculines really know how to look somewhat some the right way <laughs> popped out over here. We're not going to keep that one. We have stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, and passing a test. So you already know, like, if anything, a lot of you guys, Valentine's Day is going to be a day of union. But, like, I do have wake up and I have mortality here. So for some of you, this is also going to be a big wake up call this weekend. So whoever you thought that, you know, you were, um, what I'm getting is that you might have an ending because this is kind of, this is my death card too. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, but you could be, have an ending that really wakes up your senses to why you are queen and why you deserve to be in your power. All right. Okay, Aries. I mean, sometimes an Aries just needs to put an end to things so that people know where people stand, you know, especially in Aries, you know, a God, the God of war. Why not? It's like, you know what? You're no longer serving me. I'm queen of this here holograph. I'm queen of this matrix. So if you do not serve me properly, you don't need to be here. Like the initiation warrior woman telling you the rights of passage, the ooh, right of passage crossing the threshold. Yeah, because you you know you've done the work. You you've done the work to be queen. You've already stated your sovereignty. You know why. It's just you're waiting on the rest of the world to wake up. You're like, wake up, get with it or get lost because we ain't about to play these games anymore. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling yet? You're like, yes, I have. Because I could be queen and I could be the warrior of my own kingdom. Because I could break chains. Because I could break ancestral patterns. Because I don't need to be stuck on all of this um, reality TV nonsense. Because I know who my soul family is. I don't even have to, I don't have to look far. Because I know that the divine is leading me to lay down my foundations. Yeah, like this is... This is, it's nothing new to you. It's a walk around the park, Aries. It's a walk around the fucking park. Ha, you know, no, um, <laughs> no pun intended. You know, the fact that we're at a park. Let's see. What else there? What else do we have for Aries? What's going on Valentine's Day weekend? Besides us stating our sovereignty and becoming queens and kings that we know we are. Tell me. We have the unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Ooh, why? That that causes vulnerability here. Heaviness lives, burdens are cast away, and weightlessness. Ooh, somebody is trying to take all of your troubles away this weekend. Ooh, stop it. Someone wants you to be vulnerable and open up to them like that, Aries. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? They said, let me take care of it. Let me me make your knee shake until you can't no more. I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't know where that came from. I apologize. Divinations, though. Divinations. (laughs) 
Let's see. I'm, I'm, uh, let's see. Let's get some tarot in here. Ooh, Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune. That's what is unseen over here. Will's about to start turning, 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 because you're about to get a solid offer, offer, offer. You know what? Um, some of you guys could be heading into a serious commitment. Look, hold on. Hold on for the ride. Hold on for the ride. Because there's something coming for you. Jump in, jump in, jump in. I feel something coming for Aries or someone. Someone or something. The, you know, like with the death card here and the I want to be queen and waking up. Like people are going to be waking up to the, to, to the fact that they, their chance have fucking ended with you. It's done. Like it's going nowhere. It's mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live, Aries. Like ain't nobody gonna nobody holding you back. Not no more. Nope. You're holding on to yourself. You're letting the will turn in your direction. Because you're the queen of pentacles. You're that loving, nurturing person that you know that uh, you deserve it. You deserve it. And block the nonsense that don't if it ain't if they ain't coming to you correctly, they don't need to come to you at all. That's it. That's it. That's done. No more. Be bold and make the first move. If you, they ain't doing nothing good for you, then go ahead and cut them the fuck out. Bye. Exit the way you answer. Exit the way you entered. Thank you. Bye. Hold on. Alec, there's dirt over here that's wet. There's dirt over here that's wet. Use the dirt over here. Sorry, I told you we at the park. Wet, dead is, wet dirt right now is essential. <laughs> right there, look. Look it. All of that, look. Literally down here, look. All of the all of the dirt right here is wet and you can make it stick better. You see? There you go. Okay. What else do we have here, Spirit Fairies? Meditate and contemplate. Don't let the past hold you back. Oh, some exes is gonna come out. You know we in retrograde right now. Since January 30th or 31st or something, we've been in Merc Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. So you know like like prosperity lies ahead. All of these people from the, like, all of these exes are gonna feel it. Look, it's time to release negativity. They gonna try to come back. They be like, oh, you doing cute, you doing good. You looking da 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 da. No, thank you, next. Ariana Grande, their asses. Because you already have something here going for you. You gotta release them. And then you'll have the end, uh, like, the end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle approaches here. So that's all you have to do. Release the negativity and then end the cycle. You could be dealing with a karmic. You could be ending a karmic relationship or you could be ending several karmic relationships, jumping into this committed relationship here because somebody is going to do it to you. Like until the, I'm telling you with this will of fortune here, like it just looks like a clock going over and over and over. And then with the snake right here, like some of you guys are not going to get any rest on Valentine's Day. I'm just saying Aries, but do you do the damn thing? All right, y'all. That's what I got for you for this Valentine's Day weekend. And have a fiery one, right? Bye.